Hello, I'm Michel Pahu. And so what we are looking at is a project where we look at how we can navigate through a workspace that is larger than the size of the display. So usually people are using flick and pinch to zoom and pan. But instead of that, we are looking at moving the device on the side or up and down to pan and in and out to zoom. So basically by doing that, we free one hand because people can navigate and zoom in and out with just one hand. We call this navigation technique the lens navigation. So we are basically comparing this approach with pinch and flick. For our experiment, we build a prototype of lens navigation. We used a small 4.3 inch external display with touch, so our prototype has the actual size and resolution of a smartphone. We investigated interaction with maps using a smartphone to compare the lens navigation with pinch and flick navigation. Participants were asked to traverse a large map to locate landmarks and touch them with their finger. We had a landmark recall test on a multi-touch table to see if there is a difference of incidental learning of the map between the two navigation techniques. To understand the effect of using the lens technique in a bimanual task, we conducted a finger tracing experiment. The goal of the task was to follow arrows on a map and trace over a circle on every landmark appearing on the path. Through this research, we learn about the weaknesses and strengths of the lens and pinch-and-flick navigation concept and how they complement each other.